please take your seats. Get comfortable. Help yourself to the beverages that are available courtesy of Edmonton's Expo Center and sit back and get ready for the action. Even though he's hard to understand. Well, everyone on DLMS, thank you guys very much for being with us as uh, we're getting closer to our uh, Farm Fair International Supreme. We do appreciate everyone uh, being with us as uh, we are getting ready to go uh, for our great event here for Farm Fair International. This is the wrap-up of Farm Fair International. We see some of these great cattle uh, that will be featured uh, uh, throughout the fall. Definitely this is uh, an awesome opportunity as we're ready to go with these great set of cattle. gentlemen sit back enjoy yourself for the next little while you're going to have the opportunity to take a look at some of the most outstanding females canadian purebred genetics have ever created 
18 of them, in fact, champions all around, and then 15 bulls. Just before we get going with the entry of those females, we want to welcome everyone to the 46th anniversary of Farm Fair International. My name is Rob Smith. I'm very proud to have been involved with Farm Fair since I was a little kid in 1980 and be able to have been the announcer of this Supreme most of the years since its commencement, I believe, in 2002. And someone who has been involved with announcing ever since 2011 is our representative down with the Ram Trucks, and that would be Tracy. Are you mic'd up down there, Tracy? Okay, we'll make sure that we get that hooked up down there. At this point, of course, we are celebrating the best that Canada has to offer. And what do we do whenever we celebrate the best that Canada has to offer? We start with our national anthem. So as soon as we make sure we have a microphone down at the Ram pickups, we'll like to call upon Jordan Ho, an outstanding young gentleman, to lead, an outstanding young individual, to lead us in our singing of O Canada. Jordan has been singing ever since he could remember, but has only been singing competitively for two years. He has been in various competitions, such as Futures Fest, St. Albert's Got Talent, and the one that brings him here today, K-Day's Talent Search. He was also in VCPA production of Les Miserables, playing Jean Valjean, and you will soon see him in the Victoria School of the Arts production of Mary Poppins. Ladies and gentlemen, please all rise, doff your hats or caps, and join Jordan Ho in the singing of our national anthem. Oh, Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love in all our sons command with glowing hearts we see thee rise our true nor strong and free from far and wide O oh Canada we stand on guard for thee God keep our land glorious and free. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Jordan Ho. What a voice from that little dude. Congratulations, Jordan. What an outstanding talent we have right here in St. Albert. Many thanks to Jordan Ho. Well, as we talk about excellence and outstanding contributions, folks, since the early part of July, Northlands has been turning a very, very important page, and that was with the arrival of the new president and chief executive officer, Peter Mayle, who came to us from Vancouver and has been leaving a very wide wake in the few limited months and weeks that he's actually been here. Those oceans are gonna continue to part with Peter Mayo's leadership and guidance and we couldn't be happier to have him not just with Northlands, but with Farm Fair and leading our charge. Ladies and gentlemen, to bring greetings on behalf of Northlands and right here at Farm Fair, the new president and CEO of Northlands, Peter Mayo. Here. How's everybody doing this afternoon? Hello, and thanks for coming to this afternoon's awards. Um, on behalf of Northlands, the board, our shareholders, staff, and volunteers, I'd like to take this moment to thank you for joining us here today at the Alberta Supreme Show. Thanks to all of our event sponsors, partners, and exhibitors. There's a few gathered here with us up to my right here. And without all of you, this event and show would not be possible. Thank you for coming out on this wonderful fall Edmonton day we have today. Northland's history in Alberta goes back more than 140 years, amounting to generations of celebration of our province's rich agricultural roots. Agriculture remains at the heart of what Northland stands for and believes in. And when I come here, I'm not like Rob, this is my first farm fair. And I'm telling you, I'm absolutely breathless when I walk around and see the quality of what is being shown here. 
When I, uh, on my journey, I've done about 30 provincial fairs. I did uh, the World's Fair in 86 in Vancouver. And in 91 and 92, I worked on the World's Fair in Seville, Spain. So I spent two years living in Spain. One of the things that I bought back from Spain that stuck with me and still sticks with me is they have a word. And they have a word called artes, A-R-T-E-S. And what artes means is that if you do something with passion and you do it over time, whatever you're doing, you will elevate it to an art form. And you walk through the barns and you walk through this experience here today and that's what you see. I believe sincerely that you raise this bar to an art form. The stock that's being shown is off the scale. So we're thrilled to be recognizing the best of our industry tonight. It's the best of the best. It's the best of the West. And globally, it's some of the best in the world. And we're very, very proud to have you with us. Good luck to all the exhibitors showing tonight. We can't wait to see who's going to become the 2019 Alberta Supreme Show Champions. Thanks all, and let's enjoy what's gonna happen next. Bye-bye. Thanks very much, President and CEO Mail. Folks, please do put your hands together for our new leader. We're all very, very excited about the guidance he's bringing us. And when you talk about passion and you talk about people who've grown up, well, I wanna introduce you to those individuals who are going to be judging from the United States, Kent McCune. Just maybe throw your hand up, Kent. Let us see you down there. Give us a wave. Thank you, Kent. Curtis Flewelling, who's been doing this business since he was born as well, over here. And right beside him is Riley and Jill Mater. And a young lady who's been doing this since she was born, first on the eastern side of our country, now in the west. And just coming off of a couple of champions last week at the Toronto Royal Winter Fair, Anne Brene Burgess, over with the other group. And another individual who was born into purebred cattle royalty and has had a lot of success right here in Hall D, Mr. Rob Young. We're going to tell you a lot more about these folks, but we want to let them start their job, and that is evaluating these 18 champion females. And so without any further ado, we're going to start introducing you to our supreme champion contending females. And they would include a young man whose cow-calf pair was just slapped less than one hour ago, and that would be young Eric Smith. Eric Smith brought this female from southwestern Saskatchewan, and she won the junior futurity, entry number 7,000, Red Six Mile Misty 809E, and Red Six Mile BCAR Misty 200G, the heifer calf at side. This is our UFA junior futurity grand champion female, the last entry into our supreme championship. She is a Red Angus two-year-old first calf heifer. And we're very excited for Eric to be making his supreme debut in our Alberta Supreme here at Farm Fair International. An outstanding young man, he certainly is. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we move into the remainder of our 10 Farm Fair International breed champions. Our grand champion, Black Angus female, Brooking Angus from Radville, Saskatchewan, the Morrison family, with Brooking Countess, 77.7, and Brooking Dusty's Countess, 9, the heifer calf at side. Congratulations to the Morrison family, making the trip all the way from Radville and having the grand champion Angus female. This is a two-year-old black Angus pair that won yesterday's Angus show. Yesterday also featured an outstanding Charley show on behalf of our Charley Breeders of Canada. And our grand champion of that show is entry number 7002, BRCHE Berkeley Ann 8507 Pole DT from Prairie Cove Charley, the Bullock family of Bashaw, Alberta. This is our grand champion Charley female. We move now. You guys just hold those off till I introduce them, please. I got a spot I'm watching to let them come in so the judges have time. Our grand champion, Gelpfi, is next. And that is from Twin View Livestock, Joe Barnett and Aaron Birch of Parkbeg, Saskatchewan. AWB Twin View Gale, 78E ET. 
as well the AWB Twin View Gale 9G calf at side. This is another first calf heifer with her heifer calf that actually won, I believe it was the National Gelfie Show here on Thursday afternoon.